it's so much more fun now because my sense of humor has changed. I'm weirder and, uh, and a little bit more bold. And so what a fantastic character to see this guy in his 30s doing things that other 30-year-olds really don't want to see or but maybe they want to do, you know? He's a guy that, like, Stifler is the character, the person that hasn't changed, but the world around him has changed, you know? He just can't deal with it. He's still living in the high school world. It's fun. There's some intangible quality to it that that seems to have really struck a chord with people. And and what's great about this movie is that you you get everybody back. And so immediately it just has this nostalgic feel to it. And then you have them in an environment where people can relate to, you know, the 10 year reunion, high school reunion, where, you know, people are, you know, looking forward to seeing the girl they used to be with. You know, um, they're looking back and going, wow, is this really where I thought I was gonna be at this point in my life? And it's a time to reflect that I think, you know, it's a pretty universal, um, you know, time in people's lives. And, and that, to me, compared to, it, it really works in comparison to American Pie 1. You know, people are graduating high school, they're talking about losing their virginity, they're going to prom. I, I think that's what's pretty special about this movie. The truth is that I never had a chance to hang out with the guys all the guys, because in the first two American Pies, Stifler was the guy that kind of popped in and out. So I was always envious of their friendship, because I was like, they seem like they're getting along so well. I want to be part of it. was kind of like Stifler in a way. so pathetic. I was like, I want to be their friend. American Wedding, you know, we didn't have everybody. But I got closer. I had more time to hang with Jason and Thomas and Eddie. Um, but uh, you know what? Like, everybody has maintained that wonderful quality that they had before while um, but while still growing up, you know, we have different kind of conversations now, but yet, you know, Biggs is still farting all the time, uh, and they're still hitting each other in the balls all the time. Um, Chris is burping all the time, so I mean, it's like it's the most immature group of 32-year-olds. All the guys are just really trying to figure out where they are in their lives. Um, in one way or another. I mean, you know, with Jason and, and Alice and, uh, you know, their characters, they're married and um, they, have a, they have a son. And like a lot of, I think, uh, I'm not married, so I don't really know for sure, but like I, I assume that a lot of married couples, you know, when they have a kid, that their sex life is, you know, lacking a little bit. Like, and uh, they're just, they're, they're trying to figure things out. Um, and Thomas's character, you know, he's married and, uh, but he, he meets up with Tara Reid, uh, with Vicky, and, you know, kind of an old flame, and he's dealing with those feelings, and, you know, very real, relatable situation. Uh, and then, you know, Chris and Mina, uh, Oz and Heather, um, you know, he's successful, and he's in a relationship with uh, a hot Maxim model, but, you know, he's always had a crush on Heather, and that's one of my favorite things, I think, because I think so many people can relate to that, you know. They're going on Facebook and they're checking out the girl that they were in love with and wondering if they're married. And I think it's a really sweet relationship, you know, that they rekindle that flame.